The Realme 8 Pro is the brand's latest and greatest mid-range phone to be launched locally. It's a phone that boldly encourages you to dare to leap and features a 108 megapixel camera. The question is, does it make a difference? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Tita James and you've no doubt heard about this smartphone already. But in this one, I wanted to challenge our friends from the tech mob if they could tell the difference between a photo that was taken with a 64 megapixel camera and the 108 megapixels on the Realme 8 Pro. So we have none other than Mary Bautista, Liz of Liz Tech, and two of the newest members of the tech mob, Ian Rustia and Poi of Poi Reviews. Let's go. So actually, that's a good transition because I do have a challenge for you. I sent you pictures, Kanina, and this is like yes. the 108 megapixel versus 64 megapixel blind comparison, if you call it will, what you will. So can you tell the difference from photo, uh, from photo A, no, photo set A and photo set B Alin jan ang 108 megapixels. For the flower shot, I would say yung 108 megapixel dito ay yung um, photo B instead of the photo A. Correct. <laughs> Galing. Ah, tama. Ah, si photo B kasi mas clean yung background niya and, and mas maganda yung subject to background separation. Although maganda din naman yung photo K A. Pero if you will zoom in, mas gusto ko yung depth of field ni photo B. So let's look at the other photos that we were able to take. Anong sa tingin mo dun sa sa set sa yung second photo set which is yung yung parang cupcake at saka donuts. Okay. Um set B ulit. Set B. Set, set B na. Kasi um Ang alam ko sa Realme uh, cameras kasi um medyo ano siya eh, medyo contrast siya ng konti. Mm. Tsaka mas uh, satur uh, saturated siya ng konti. So ito kasi ng uh, set uh, A, uh, medyo lack siya ng shadows. Mm. And then itong B ano siya um contrasty. Contrasty. Actually correct ka bro, B. Eh. So sa photo Photo set A at saka sa photo set B, alin ang stain mo is the Realme 8 Pro? Ay, wait lang. Feeling ko ano, etong Feeling ko yung B, yung Realme 8 Pro, kasi kapag ka mataas na yung megapixel, parang mas nagiging bolder na yung image. Parang mm. ganun. Ano pa? Bakit parang ba? mas vibrant na siya. Parang ganun. Tapos, Pang magazine na yung style, parang ganun. Yung, uh, yung outcome ng photo, kahit so, hindi siya na-edit. So yun yung feeling mo? <laughs> feeling ko lang, yes. Kasi yung A is hindi siya ganun ka-vibrant. Pero napaka-natural niya. Parang, kung sa clarity lang, mas clear yung A actually. So, really Pero, oo, oh, oh, mahilig kasi ako sa vibrant eh. <laughs> Kaya feeling ko, feeling ko mas maganda yung B, yun lang. So, handa ka na ba? Sure, sure ka, sure ka na ba? Lalock in mo na ba yung answer mo? <laughs> hindi ako sure. Hindi ako sure talaga as in. Pero huwag kayong maghalit sa akin. De, de, again, again, pinahirapan ko sila guys. Uh, if, if they zoom in, yun na nga, medyo naka-compress naka na yung file. Pero, correct ka. Di nga yung Realme 8 Pro. <laughs> Okay, so there is a bit of drama in the vlog, which I guess is kind of good, but Tito did make a mistake. So Ian Rustia was supposed to be on this video, but upon checking the footage, as you can see, I'm editing it right now, the audio on his end wasn't working entirely my fault. So Ian, if you're watching this, sorry bro, and thank you for taking the time out to do a collab with me. Unfortunately, I did make an error. The good thing here is that he did guess correctly when it, when it came to the 64 versus 108 MP battle. So I guess bawi na lang. So yeah, Ian, thank you. Sorry. Anyway, let's get back to the rest of the video where I ask our content creator friends if 108 megapixels makes a difference. Um, 
as someone who is also into you know taking photos Mm-mm. yes actually may difference lalo na in terms of yung color of course the subject the background separation but if you're like a regular smartphone user tapos you're you're also into taking photos pero you're not very keen to it hindi mo siya mapapansin eh especially mm. if you love uploading and processing your photos and um editing it on lightroom it, it doesn't make sense actually if if you're someone like that mm-hmm. pero if you are very like specific um sa pagte ng photos like kunari ako i i want to make sure na parang kahit mag-zoom in ka sa Instagram mm. i want um i still want detail it will matter so i i think it all depends na lang on the user who's gonna buy it mm-hmm. um but to me as a, again as someone who loves taking photos 108 megapixel um made made a difference and is important to me may part na yes may part na no mm-hmm. una sa lahat um no kasi mas mataas yung resolution meaning mas mataas yung size mm-hmm. na makukuha natin di ba so kung sakaling limited or talagang may ligtay mag pictures or mag shoot ng videos limited lang din yung makukuha nating uh, pictures and videos mm-hmm. yun yung parang disadvantage kasi ng mataas na, res- na resolution and then uh, yes naman kasi uh, kahit na i-zoom natin maku- makukuha pa rin natin yung uh, uh, details ng gusto nating kunin for example medyo malayo ng konti yung gusto natin ng uh, gusto natin kunan mm. pero gusto natin na i-focus pa din dun sa subject na yon mm. so the more the pixels syempre kahit na naka-zoom siya clear pa rin so perfect so, ba to kung ano kung nasa high school pa tayo tapos kunyari parang boy punta ka naman sa harap ko pipicture lang ko yung crush ko tapos ikakrop ko na lang yung uh, picture oh, <laughs> oh naman <laughs> perfect na perfect sana no nung mga panahon na yon talaga <laughs> yes of course kasi the more na mas mataas na yung pixels na camera mas mas better di ba mas maganda mas magiging vibrant yung kuha tarang pang magazine na para ganda yung feels pang magazine na yes o sa bagay o sa bagay yung ano yung ibang yung pictures ni Catherine Bernardo dun sa yes. or, 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 sa sa FB page ni Remy ba sa oh oh ang ganda ng kuha mm. true ay yung mga shots yung mga shots mo ba ganda <laughs> parang pwede na sa ilagay sa magazine May, Tapos, may... Do, totoong donuts na yun? Para... Ayun, yun nga. Ano yun? Yun yung secret ko sa kanyo. Ref magnet lang yun, please. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Again, I want to thank Mary, Liz, Poy, and of course, Ian. Again, I'm very sorry, man. I will make it up to you in the next collab. If you want to check out their reviews for the Realme 8 Pro, I will leave all the links down below. But I'm very curious to see what your take is. I will be posting the same photo sets on Instagram. So make sure you check it out. So that's it for me. Thank you for spending a couple of minutes watching this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell if you haven't already. If you have any questions about the Realme 8 Pro, leave them down below. My name is Tita James. Peace, God bless. See you guys next time. And of course, stay safe.